I wanted to give y'all a little video of the GPS master software that comes with your Discover GPS watch. Um, there's a few things I just want to highlight um, that can help y'all understand this product a little bit more and give you a better idea of what it offers. When you install the um, software, one of the first things you're going to do is you can go to setting um, and you're going to configure your watch. There's three different tabs that allow you to customize the views and the data that appears on your watch. Um, units you can go between standard and metric um, and then time is 24 and 12 hours. User data um, kind of customizes where your target heart range is going to be. So you can go <coughs> male, female, then you can select your birthday as well as your weight. Um, when it comes to view settings, there's different profiles on with this watch. So you have running, cycling, hiking, sailing. They're already kind of set up if you look down here to see how they change um, between. So we have distance, pace, um, kind of the typical things you would want with running. Cycling is a little bit different. Um, it kind of emphasizes speed and lap number. And then hiking is different as you have heading, distance, and then your altitude. Um, but honestly, uh, as we look at sailing, you can do anything um, that you want and customize them the way that you like, which is nice. Once you get them to the place you like, just right setting the watch um, when it's plugged into your computer and you should be good to go. You can also rename um, any of these profiles and create your own to whatever you want. Um, another thing that we need to note is you can add users and switch users for the watch. So if you're lending or let someone else borrow it or you have someone in your own household that also wants to use the watch to record their data, they don't, your data doesn't get all jumbled up and you can switch users. When, you're, um, when you connect your watch to your computer, you're going to need to um, receive watch data. And we're going to click on that. I'm not going to have any data in the watch because I've already transferred it over from my last workout. But what it does, once you do that, you're going to see, um, you're going to see a, new data, um, a new file pop up on your screen right here. And when you click on, when you click on that, it's going to show you all of this information. As you can see, I've had other workouts and they're all different. This is the latest one that I did. Um, if, <clears throat> what's nice about this is you can view um, three different ones at the same time. We can also look at the distance one. Um, and you can change in between these. So you can look at your pace. You can switch them up. Um, if we're looking at this, uh, let's do um, speed. Uh, I was having some issues today because it was pretty cloudy picking up GPSs. It was kind of frustrating. But as you can see, um, <clears throat> for a little while here, there's no speed. And then once the, once the satellite's picked up, you can see the speed went up. The nice thing is your heart rate, your telemetry strap that comes with your watch, doesn't have to be connected to the satellite. So you can see here I'm running, realize my GPS isn't connected, stop, they get connected again, and we can go. So um, this is cool how you can toggle between the different views. You can see my pace. Um, it's not recorded, and suddenly it's recorded once we connect with the satellites. If we look down here at summary, um, it basically gives you a summary of your whole workout. So you have your time, your laps, total distance. Um, it's really everything you need to know, which is nice. You're not having to worry about uh, a pad and paper log, anything like that. It keeps it um, fairly nice and tidy. The watch can store up to 99 um, laps before they, before they you need to start deleting them. So if you show the lap details, it's going to split those laps up and show the specific data for each lap, which is pretty nice. Um, whether you're running on a track or you're doing some kind of circuit, um, it's just really nice to have. So you can export that to other files. Um, one more thing that's interesting, I haven't done a lot with it, but I hope to when I go hiking in the future, is um, there's something called Path Manager, and you can set your own waypoints. Um, I already had something set earlier just as an example, so I set it between um, waypoint one was in Greenville, Tennessee, and then waypoint two is right here in Greenville, South Carolina. Now when you um, hit PC to watch, it's going to put those waypoints on your watch. So basically, it's gonna, your compass is going to guide you to waypoint two. Um, you can make them more specific. So if we start a new path and we, uh, we're going to zoom in. So here we got the Blue Ridge Parkway. Um, it, it's kind of difficult. If we go to satellite, you might be able to see it better along the ridge lines, but we can start one here. And if we want to travel on the ridge line, um, you know, here's a river right here. If we want to end up traveling along the river, it's basically going to keep those waypoints set. So we save that path right here. There we go. Path description will just say example for review. 
So I haven't done um, a lot with that, and it should save example for view, and then we can just send it right there. Um, so I haven't done a whole lot with that. Hopefully in the, in the next month or so I'll be able to use that a lot more and tell you just how nice it is to work. One more thing I want to note, um, the program is linked to Google Earth. So with your runs right here, I'm going to select this little icon. Um, you can double click on it. You can set it if you just want a single click and then it should pull up Google Earth. There it is. Um, it's basically going to give you the GPS map of if you're running or hiking of that exact route that you went on. So I have a couple of um, runs already logged, so we're going to deselect that one. Deselect that one. This is the most recent one I just did today really quick as an example. Um, it should have been a loop, but because I had that time where um, it didn't, the satellite didn't pick up, it wasn't quite a loop. Um, I'll move over here and I'm going <clears> to <throat> select run one. That's what I did a few uh, a few days ago. And it's nice because, you know, it just, if anything, it's just kind of cool how it moves around. It shows your exact route. Um, and, I mean, it shows you the topography. And if you're on the satellite views, you can see all the different um, buildings and, you know, terrain around you. So I just wanted to show you Google Earth um, and give you kind of a brief overview of what the software can do. Um, it's pretty archaic. I mean, it's nothing that's streamlined or very aesthetically pleasing. But it gets the job done. And, you know, it's... It's kind of nice. As you can look here, uh, kind of keep yourself accountable. The dates are bolded where you've done workouts. So you can see the past few days I've done a few. So it's pretty nice. Um, this is just the software portion. I'll try to in text and maybe I'll do a video um, to show you more about the watch and how it works. Thanks.